What's up, guys? This is a video write-up for the challenge Etherhide for 40 points in the miscellaneous category of HackCon 2018, Capture the Flag. So this challenge problem here is my friend heard about the Ethereum blockchain and thinks it's the safest place to hide stuff. Prove him wrong. And it gives us a network to do whatever with and a contract address. I didn't actually end up using this at all. I didn't even realize it was there, to be completely honest. Uh, I am not an authority to really be going over this challenge. Uh, I just kind of poked around and found it eventually. So what I had done, not knowing a whole lot about, uh, like, cryptography, like cryptocurrencies, etc., etc. I was assuming, okay, Ethereum is kind of like Bitcoin and that it is a cryptocurrency. I know there's a Bitcoin wallet, so is there such thing as an Ethereum wallet? I googled that and I found my Ether wallet or my etherwallet.com and it looked like I was able to change up at the very top right the network that I was on. Originally, I was just on ETH, myetherwallet.com, but I was able to move it down and I saw that if I choose Robston, which is that network that it specifies, Robston and test network. I couldn't tell the difference between Robston, my Etherwald, and Robston and Fura. Um, so I was assuming the second one was their test network. So I just switched over to that. Um, and then I went to view wallet info because it didn't look like I wanted to create a wallet. I just wanted to find some other wallet. And it asks, okay, how would you like to access a wallet? And I looked through this list. It looked like I could supply an address. And that's what I had. I had an address. So I copied and pasted what I had in there. Could view that balance. And it gives me whatever this is. It looks like, a, okay, a QR code. I could have decoded that, but it would just give me what we've already seen. Um, so it said, okay, I can look at the transaction history over at this URL. So I went ahead and tried to take a look at that. At this point, I'm looking at things that I don't understand and don't know what they are. Um, but it looked like, okay, these are transactions. These are things happening during the time of the competition. And it gave me a value as to whether or not there was ether going through or like actual money working with it. And I saw this one that was one decimal three, three, seven ether. And that looked like elite. So I thought, okay, that has to be a lead for a flag or something. So I went ahead and clicked on that thing. I scrolled down and it looked like, okay, check data, string data. And there's some stuff here after I looked through it and okay, I got the note that this value looks like hex. So what I did was I went ahead and checked out what that hex might be by Python, right? I did that dot decode hex, and there was the flag with a null byte character at the very end. So, okay, let's go ahead and take that and use that as our get flag script, because we solved the challenge just now. We, we did it already. So simple miscellaneous category, um, but we can remove those null bytes there. That is a little bit of the reconnaissance that I had done, or at least what I kind of poked around with trying to bang my head against the wall until I knew what I was really working with there. I totally put the wrong shebang line. So, simple challenge, but... Uh, finding your way and poking around and if you wanted to learn more about blockchain but I or cryptocurrencies but I didn't particularly want to at the time <laughs> it was still easy enough to find the flag just like that so we can mark that challenge as complete you could submit it for points however unfortunately the game is no longer live um, if you would like to play other capture the flag competitions please join our discord server link in the description Super quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You're the best. $1 or more on Patreon a month will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live because I normally record in bulk and then gradually release them. If you did like this video, please do that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, join our Discord server. Link in the description. It's a cool community of CTO players, programmers, and hackers, and I'd love to see you guys in the next video. Bye.